name is Jacqueline, and I am a student at the Haskin School of Business. This month, we are getting to know Andrea Torrevel, our MBA career consultant. So, Andrea, tell me a little bit about your career background before landing at the Career Center. Absolutely, Jacqueline. So, I always try and sum it up in, I've always been in client services roles. Even though I have made multiple transitions in my career, my jobs, whichever you want to call them, I've always been in fundamentally client service roles. So from working in retail right out of high school to transitioning over to um, working for Shaw Cable, customer service, client services, and um, progressing my career there a little bit. Then getting a degree and um, starting a career in recruitment, which is very, very client um, service oriented, a little bit solution focused. And what I inevitably loved about recruiting was I liked informing people really how to do it on their own. Yes, I, I did very well and I was very successful, but I still like to inform because I wouldn't be able to help every single client that came in. So if I can give them something to walk away, that was great. And I inevitably started to like that a lot more than the actual recruitment part itself. I like giving people advice to help them with their career goals and maybe even identifying just little tidbits of information that was going to help them uh, inevitably be able to make that career switch or that transition themselves. So I took a leap of faith with the support of my husband and I decided to go off on my own and be a career advisor by myself um, independently. It was very successful right out of the gate. I had lots and lots of clients that were all referral based. I mean, and there was people who wanted to be able to access um, services from me that way. Then I did a lot of volunteering, I met a lot of people, I even did some volunteering here at Haskane, hence why I even knew that the Career Center existed here, and I met Susan Judd and Kimberly Dart, we had a great conversation um, during the practice interview week that I was here, and positive uh, responses from the students. Inevitably a role showed up, and I applied for it, and that's what brought me here today. It was a six month contract, and now it's been two and a half years later. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, what's your favorite part of career advising? Oh, my favorite part of career advising. Gosh, that's a tough one. I think my favorite part at the end of the day is helping students become a little more aware of this part. Um, you don't get taught this. You don't get taught how to manage your career. You don't get taught even how to launch a career. You just know that one day somebody, somebody told you when you grow up you're probably going to be something. But then all the aspects that go along with that kind of get a bit ignored. Yes, there's an odd course here or there in high school or in junior high that touches on your life in general, but the career aspect, especially with the changing landscape, the constantly changing um, business landscape especially, it's very important for individuals to understand that they will need to um, manage their career more strategically, more effectively. And I think at the end of the day, if I can help with the awareness piece, that's the most important. And that's the part that I like, just seeing that light bulb go off for individuals, for them to understand, oh, this is what i got to do, and this is why. Um, so what should BCOM students consider when they're thinking about applying for an So that's a great one. I mean, the biggest thing they should first consider is going out and getting some work experience. Work experience is going to be so valuable for you. And it will help you to even identify a basic foundation as to what you want. Having a BCom and then getting uh, an MBA is going to be a great combination. Um, just especially with the changing landscapes that are going on in the business world, having that MBA, being able to get that strategic focus and really being able to understand the big picture, you know, why the business does X, Y, Z, will be really valuable for you. But consider making sure you get some work experience and knowing your why. Um, it's, markets change all the time, so there's going to be a perfect time, there's going to be a not so perfect time to be able to get that piece of education, but it's never going to be a bad piece of education to get. So very much consider it, and consider it earlier than later. Because especially when you, you might already have a family, it could be a bit tougher for you to be able to go back to it. The education. But if you have a few years of work experience, say you graduate in 23, 24, then all of a sudden you're 28, that could be a good time for you to come back to What is the best piece of career advice you've ever given a student? Well, see, I mean, that's hard to answer because you would have to 
wonder what the student, if the student agrees with this or not. But I think in general, one of the biggest pieces of career advice that I seem to consistently have to give students, and I think it helps, I believe it helps a little bit, just especially ease the mind, especially when we're in these dynamic economic times and all this stuff that's going on, um, is you don't have to have it all figured out. Um, your career is going to change often. Um, you know, I even just suggest them to go to LinkedIn and look at people's careers who started here and then they're over here and sometimes you just can't see the connection between the two jobs, but they were able to manage their careers effectively. I mean, large organizations especially really foster individuals moving around within the organization versus moving out. So at the end of the day, you don't have to have it all figured out. And everybody starts somewhere. So just know that it's okay if you haven't got it figured out today. You're just acquiring skills as you go along, and it's okay to keep acquiring these skills, because that's really what you're doing. You're constantly putting yourself above the value line. So you don't have to have it all figured out today. That's some really great advice, Andrea. Thank you for your time, and we will see you all at the Career Center. Bye.